everyone. In this video, we're looking at how to work with three-dimensional files in Makera Cam. Now, Makera Cam now allows you to import 3D design files, either in a STEP or STL file format. And we can use these 3D design files to create a wide range of three-dimensional toolpaths, from pockets to reliefs, contour drilling, and thread milling. And of course, we dive deeper with all these toolpaths in our other tutorial videos. But in this video, we're just going to look at how to import and work with them at the core level. To import a three-dimensional file in MakeAraCam, you can either right-click in the Functions panel on your 3D layers to import or create a 3D file. You could also use the drop-down to import a 3D model on your top toolbar. And you can also, of course, import using the Files menu. Now, there are two different types of files you can import, the most common being a step file. Now, what step files allow you to do, if I create a simple toolpath, like a pocket toolpath, is select the individual faces within the design. So if I hold shift here, I can easily select multiple faces within this step file. And then after selecting a tool, MakeAraCam will automatically generate a toolpath based upon those faces, where it uses the faces in the design to set the depths of the machining toolpath. And that is one handy reason to use step files in that you can select the actual faces and then design around them accordingly. When you're creating something like a contour path, an outer perimeter cut with your step file, you'll notice that you can't select individual edges. But what we can do is generate a contour, which will generate the outer edges of your design. And then you can use those contours to generate your toolpath. And of course, we dive deeper in these settings and generating your toolpaths in another one of our videos. Another type of 3D file that you might want to work with are STL files. And STLs are meshes that often have complex geometries like this carving of a dog on this coin. Before I show how to work with this, you'll notice that this coin imported not in the correct orientation, but that's perfectly okay. In MakeAraCam, you can easily use your transform tools to simply move and reposition your, your objects. You can also rotate your objects easily you can scale your objects and you can mirror them as well to make sure that they're where they need to be within your design. STL files unfortunately don't allow us to select the individual faces. So we can't use the pocket toolpath that I showed earlier. What we can use is a relief toolpath. Release will actually follow the unique contours within the design and create a carving along the contours to create your intricate shape. We look at the settings for relief toolpaths in another video, but it's the ideal toolpath option for working with STL models. You can, however, still use the 3D contour toolpath and you can generate a contour around the outer perimeter of your STL model, just like we did for our step file earlier, and that can be used to create the outer perimeter using a three-dimensional path. So whether it be simple engineering parts or complex three-dimensional reliefs, MakeAraCam allows you to work with a variety of three-dimensional files to create an even greater range of three-dimensional toolpaths to manufacture with your desktop CNC. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.